Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're here with John, who we met recently at the Quarantine Cruise. You know, I've seen your car, like I was telling you, I've seen your car a few times. It's obviously not a stock Jaguar when you pull up. This is, I mean, it rumbles like crazy. Let's start with, what did you start with? What was the original car? It's a 1970 Series 1. I finally did a big block conversion and uh, yes, dart motor, dart motor. So it's a dart motor, you it's a, said? It's a 540, it's mm -hmm. a stock board, 540, mm -hmm. custom heads, custom cam. It's an R car, 204R. It's okay. a four-speed automatic. Okay. They okay. are really good trainings because they spool up really fast. Yep. So our car built this for a thousand horses. The carburetor is a Pro Systems 1050 and it's set up for nitrous 300 shot. Really? So, now, now, is your nitrous hooked up right now? Yeah, it's hooked up right now. It it's is. ready to go, yes. Oh it's my gosh, go. okay. I always, when I drive out, that bottle is ready. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I had a remote bottle opener. Okay, I had the bottle heater. Yeah, I mean, there's no sense having 220 shot to the wheels and not have it, you know, working. Ready so, to go, yeah. So it's always ready to go, you yeah, know? I can't even imagine. But it, this is a 91 pump gas car. So I stop at Arco or Chevron, you know, That's wherever. crazy. I wanna- right, you wanna be able to pull up, pump exactly. gas, and keep going. Cause exactly. you drive this a lot, don't you? Uh, you know, I go everywhere. I mean, yeah. I can get in right now, go to New York. You know, I can go anywhere. The car is made to run, you know, right. and, and drive. I race it a lot, you know, mainly quarter of a mile. Yeah. You know? And, and how fast does it do the quarter mile? Uh, the best times he has done is 985. Uh, 140, mm -hmm. but I wanted to handle good too. Yeah. So it's got the whole TCI front clip out of a 67, 69 Camaro autocross front clip. The whole car was cut in the front frame and I put a nine inch posi. Okay. It has a TCI rear suspension, torque arm. Okay, yeah, so yeah. So you sure. coil over adjustable pond hard bar with a torque arm suspension. Now this, the body's pretty radically modified up. Front, right? Yeah, the, the whole front, the, the, the hood, that's a factory hood, and the guy actually was able to cut it, and then we fabbed it on, a, on an English wheel, and got, you know, three pieces, it's three pieces there. So we changed the ankle. So if, that's why now if you look at it in the front and go down low, yeah. it looks really nice. It does. Because the ankle changed and then everything came up flowing. Yeah. So it made it look more of an exotic than a drag racer. I got these are XJS V12 seats. So this is really from a this Jag. This is from a Dudor Jag, gotcha. and they fit right into the XJs. That's so okay? cool. So I got these, and the nice thing about it is that they tilt too forward. Mm -hmm. So it, because it was a two door, or the two door, I, you yeah. know, I cut all those, all those switches. I had to use them with a file for the rocker switches. We made the custom dash. This is a billet specialties uh -huh. the throttle. They call it the throttle the steering wheel, uh -huh. and this is Flaming Rivers uh, steering column. And the yeah. gauges are all digital and they are Norse Doug. It used to be a company in Anaheim. Okay, and I've never did, heard of that. And we yeah. saw them at the, uh, corner, at, the, at the Del Mar Nationals and mm -hmm. they had a display and I love their gauges. So most guys that are doing what you've done to this car, mm -hmm. they're doing it to you know Camaros and Mustangs and Novas, American muscle cars, right? Is it because your wife liked the Jag and, and like I'm trying to wrap my head around why you do this to a four-door okay. Jag. Well, and that's why, you know, a lot of people get so angry at me. You see, a lot of people want to be in their comfort zone. Okay, I know Seville, I know Mustang, yeah. you know? Yeah. But I don't know Jaguar. Why would I build something like that? I, but like, this is I not a Jaguar no more, this is a Chevy. Right, right. This is a Z28 rear suspension, yeah. Chevy transmission, Chevy engine, yeah, American auto wired electrical. So what's the problem? Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's why I asked, dude. Is it's like it's all muscle car. It's a nine inch, but it's put in like it's put in Grandpa's four door Jaguar. Exactly, you know what I mean, man? Exactly. And personally, I think your car looks amazing. It sounds great. Let's, okay. Let's go for a little right. drive. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go for a drive, you guys. Not 200 horse. If I hit the unit right here, and that was just on second, that wasn't even on first. <laughs> I can tell the car wants to pull hard. I can tell. If you can't, nah, they're just not go. giving us. You want to okay, go, now? go past me. Wow. It didn't spin. 
It really does grab, doesn't it? Oh yeah, and that's with 31 pounds. If I put 27, it looks like a rocket. Wow. So you really got this car really, oh, yeah. really set up to drive. See? Yeah. See? And that's yeah. soft right now. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Wow, John. That's not 200 shot. That's just on the motor. That's just the motor. That's just the motor. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about right now? If I hit this unit right now, you're not going to believe. That's why the bikes, they can't touch me, the Dugatis. Yeah. You this got thing, that is, this thing is shot. like insane. So you've spent, you said, somewhere around $100,000 building this the way we're seeing it right yes, now. Yes, exactly. Like you said, about fifteen grand in the paint job, right? Yes. And then, and then all the different parts, like the engine. You said what? And like twenty-five grand. Yeah, maybe? the engine worth about twenty-five. That's what it will take to build an engine like this. Yeah. Bust the build. Sound okay. You ready? Awesome. Here, I think my belt busted. That's really? okay, yeah, I'll make it. Everybody good? You want to make a burnout? Go ahead, yep. Just take off. By far the most intense Jag I've ever experienced, but check out our friend Henry also in his Jag as we say goodbye, thanks, and see you in the next episode. All right, you guys, later.